there are some OEMs like Samsung that have allowed us to customize various elements of the lock screen on Android. However, these features were made by those companies themselves since Google had only included limited options in the core AOSP build. This is changing with the launch of Android 14 and Google has finally added a number of features for us to customize. We can find these new options by long pressing on an empty spot of the home screen and then selecting the wallpaper and style option. Now, if we take a look at the top of the screen, you'll notice that this is set to the home screen by default, but we can switch this page over to the Android 14 lock screen option with a simple tap. And right off the bat, you can see that we can choose from a number of different clock styles. So here we have the default style. Here is a more bold option. A handwritten sketch style. We have a bold analog clock. A more balloon bubbly style. A slimmed down sketch style. A clock with more rounded edges. And then we have some actual different styles where the text is ran vertically. And then back to some other digital style clocks. We can customize the clock even further by tapping on the clock color and size button right here, which gives, gives us the, the option to choose from a number of different colors. Changing the actual brightness of the clock elements themselves. And a way to change from the dynamic option to a small compact version. From this menu, we can also set the Android 14 lock screen wallpaper, which isn't new, but it's nice to be able to change it from a dedicated lock screen menu. We are also given the ability to set some lock screen shortcuts as well. So we can choose between the left and right shortcut and have the option to set it as none, to use our camera, to set up smart home device controls, a do not disturb toggle, a flashlight toggle, a way to quickly mute the device, a QR scanner button, a quick way to launch our video camera, and a way to access our digital wallet. And all of these options can be set to either the left or the right shortcut. Sadly, Google seems to be limiting these options to a predetermined list of apps and actions, but maybe we will see this updated in the future with the ability to set a custom application shortcut as well. Google has also included a toggle in this menu that allows us to show notifications on the lock screen or to keep things more private by not showing them at all. If you're not a fan of any of the changes that, that you've made to the lock screen from this menu, then we can always tap the reset button up here in the top right corner to bring things back to the default setting. There's even a more lock screen options button down here that essentially takes you to a page within the settings application. You can also find this by opening up the settings app, tapping on the display menu, 
and then diving into the lock screen area. Here we have some features that you may be more familiar with, like the ability to show all notification content or to hide the sensitive details. We can add some custom text to our Android 14 lock screen and add the device control options without ever needing to unlock the smartphone or tablet. Here we have another way to set the lock screen shortcuts and a toggle for switching the clock to the compact version. The rest of these you are likely already going to be familiar with, but having these types of customization options for the lock screen on Android 14 is something that many of us have been asking about for ages. There are still some limitations here, and hopefully we see these fleshed out in future updates. But we are now given more lock screen features with the launch of Android 14.